greedy person, I am open to inspiration from have been particularly fruitful. And since America is the country dean, I thought some creme de menthe uh, over some crushed ice, creme de menthe frappe, was just the height of sophistication. Still have a bit of a yin for it. Creme de cacao blanc, it's white chocolate liqueur. You would have a grasshopper. That's not quite what I have in mind now, though. Although I've got the wherewithal for a grasshopper, that's never going to be my tipple. A grasshopper pie, however, is one of my newly discovered pleasures. I call it a pie, and it is, but you don't have a pastry base, but a biscuit one, chocolate biscuits or bourbons. This is fantastic. It's like I imagine the earth of Mexico to be, although I doubt it tastes. The filling starts off with 125 mils of milk. And I have to say, job than a cooking job, because that's the end of the cooking. The key grasshopper ingredients. Creme de cacao blanc, in other words, creme de cacao that is white and not brown. It would ruin the look, darling. The combining this pure white, this violent green. I do have a terrible weakness for kitsch. Did I need to say that to you? Anyway. I put the kitsch in kitchen. I've never made any secret of the fact that I am a complete cookbook junkie. I mean, the recipe of hers that entrances me right now actually doesn't come from a cookbook, but from her memoir. It's actually very, very cross because I've known her for about 25 years and she's never told me about this recipe. It's odd to the point of unfeasibility but it is absolutely addictive. I mean, obviously, you've got to start off liking Marmite, but even if you don't, there is something about the way... Well, I'm hoping I can win anyone over. I know that most children like this and actually makes the perfect meal for anyone. The amount of Marmite you... Just try to make this easy. And... Let's see how the pasta's doing. Dropping everywhere. Oh, wow. 